Greetings, this is Robert Mac Williams, Coordinator of Instructional Design at Bishop State Community College, and you are watching the Bishop State Faculty Staff Student Television. We're going to cover the technical requirements for utilizing Canvas. Uh, if you refer to the online orientation handout, you will either pick this up at the online orientation on campus or via email. Uh, and also a lot of the online courses also embed this in their uh, modules or, or files area. Uh, of course, uh, let me just say this first uh, as a note uh, here. Please note if your classes are not paid in full, whether you're paying via cash, uh, whether PAL, uh, VA, or any other type of financial aid your classes will not appear so you cannot be registered you must be or pre-registered you must be registered for, in order for your classes to come also if you add a class uh, or drop a class it takes up to 12 hours for that class addition to appear in canvas or up to 12 hours for that class to uh, disappear from Canvas. Canvas in essence syncs up with uh, uh, our student information system at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. so anything that's made before uh, those times it won't occur until either 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. so first thing you want to keep in mind when using Canvas uh, going to our technical focusing on our technical requirements is you want to make sure you have the latest web browser uh, make sure you're using basically Chrome. Chrome is what uh, the tech support team at Canvas uh, highly recommend. Um, you may also util utilize Firefox uh, and you also uh, can utilize Safari for those that are on a uh, Apple machine which I'm actually doing this presentation on the Apple machine. Uh, but Chrome hands down is the number one browser to utilize. Um, stay away by, uh, by if all means um, by all means possible Internet Explorer Internet Explorer um, has is very known to give problems when utilizing Canvas uh, many of our instructors will be uh, embedding Word documents you know or PowerPoint documents or maybe Excel documents all of these are um, part of the office Microsoft Office suite now if you're on your home computer you'll know that Microsoft Office carries a price it's not free um, of course you can utilize uh, if you're on campus all of our Bishop State computers will have office already installed if you are on your home computer you can use office or access office 365 it is 100 percent free um, if you go to office.com slash get office 365 use your active Bishop State email address and that will allow you in essence to access office 365 uh, for free of charge um, for those who are on Mac or Linux users you can uh, utilize openoffice.org open office is very similar to Microsoft Office it allows you to not only open and read Microsoft Office documents but you also can create Microsoft uh, documents some instructors will use Adobe Acrobat they will put files in Adobe Acrobat so Adobe Acrobat is a, uh, a format for saving uh, documents and basically you can go to adobe.com slash product slash reader uh, if you go to adobe.com you should see uh, Adobe Acrobat click on the link and that in essence uh, trigger the download and then you'll be able to uh, read or view uh, Adobe Acrobat products. Uh, in Canvas you have the ability to set up additional notifications so you uh, things that happen in Canvas will uh, you generally send a uh, email to your campus email your Bishop State email however if you want Canvas to send uh, you a notification via your personal email or text you can do that by going to account and notifications and let me show you that real quick if you go under uh, account and then notifications then you once you log into canvas uh, in essence of course it's got email but you can go in and add additional notifications 
you go into settings email address if you want to add additional email address you go to email address and then you can put in your personal email address and in essence register email and then that email uh, would be added also if you want to add a text uh, uh, message notifications you could do that as well and basically select your carrier and then basically uh, it will automatically generate your SMS email and then register uh, that email so uh, or, or phone number rather so that way you can set up a personal email as well as text message alerts in Canvas and then once you go into notifications once you add those then you can go in and figure out did you want due dates to come via email or through text or your personal email campus email uh, etc and you can go through and change all of these as you add additional notifications you can also access Canvas on mobile devices so if you have an Android or an Apple phone tablet you can download the Canvas app and in essence uh, access Canvas for there and also if you, as you download the app you'll get notifications as well through your phone um, you can do most anything and everything on, on the app that you can do on a desktop or laptop computer uh, however test taking on a mobile device is not recommended uh, just because uh, at times things can be a little trippy so it's recommended that you uh, work on a laptop or desktop when you are uh, doing actual tests when it comes to uh, test taking in Canvas. For the most part, Canvas is very user friendly. It doesn't uh, require a lot of power uh, overall from the computers. Uh, just for the most part, as long as you have an you know, office on your computer, make sure you're using Chrome. For the most part, you should be good to go. Now, should you have uh, any additional questions or run into any problems? Um, you have two contacts. You have 24-hour support uh, from Canvas themselves. This is uh, actually uh, a, a toll-free number that is uh, just for Bishop State uh, students. It's 844-690-9179. Also, if you are inside of Canvas, you can just click on the Help button and also have access to that phone number. Uh, you can also chat with Canvas. Uh, and actually they will that will pull up uh, instant chat or whatnot and that uh, in essence allow you uh, to chat with the canvas tech support also if it's during normal business hours of Bishop State you can contact me Robert McWilliams uh, my phone number is 251-405-7144 and of course you can always shoot me an email at rmcwilliams at bishop.edu uh, we wish you all a very prosperous semester. Again, if you need us, do not hesitate to contact uh, either Canvas or myself. We are here uh, for your convenience.